Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mike Armstrong podcast show and uh, this afternoon I'm joined by Gary Doherty who's from the Think Network and a number of other things and uh, we've met online recently, uh, you know, via LinkedIn I think, um, we'll get, get, uh, get to know each other and uh, just see what happens from there then. How are you doing today Gary, you okay? I'm very, very good Mike, thank you very much. Thanks for having me on your podcast, I'm very grateful that we connected via Ella, our Australian Polish Australian friend, and uh, I'm very grateful for the connection. So thank you. Yes, I think we have another friend in uh, in common as well, which uh, I, I think you're doing some stuff with, and that's uh, the mighty Pete Longton. Ah, how well do you know Pete? Oh, very well, very well, very well. Um, hey. Yes. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you involved in the property world as well? No. No, I'm actually part of the Outstanding Network. Ah, right. Listen, and we, <laughs> well, well, then we've got other mutual friends then as well. Yes, we because have, uh, that, that was something I think I've spotted from you, but you hadn't spotted from me, but no, uh, you, yeah, no, you Pat, come across me through Ella. We have the, the, the outstanding Pat Slattery, uh, the fabulous Donna Kennedy. There is um, Hugh Hegarty and Kenny Faulkner, who are friends of mine. Um, yeah. up there's, there's others, there's a, but yes, Mighty, yes. Pete, Mighty Pete's up there. Yes, definitely. And uh, Mighty Pete actually um, is part of my podcasting journey because um, I actually set my podcast up in December, but I didn't actually start podcasting until the beginning of lockdown. And it was actually mm. after being interviewed by Mighty Pete on his podcast and also Aaron O'Dowd on his podcast. Um, it got me clear. I was thinking and procrastinating a bit and busy, you know, when I set my podcast up, wanting to do it listened to a few podcasts and, and, and whatever, but then I got invited on as a guest to the part of those podcasts. And uh, Pete um, took me through a life story. He does two hour life stories. And that actually helped me to crystallize my why. Um, and, and, and also Perfect. just gave me the inspiration to actually get my podcast going, like, you know? Good, so, good. Uh, it's, uh... Pete's a, guy, Pete's a guy that uh, I have a lot, a lot of time for, and I do a lot of, uh, I, cl I, cl I collaborate with Pete on lots of different things, lots wow. of different things. Well, that's um, good, because he's a good so, guy. Yeah, yeah, he's one, of, he's one of life's good guys, you know. Um, he adds value wherever he goes. Um, no doubt he receives the abundance he deserves as a result, and um it's a privilege for me to be part of Pete's journey and have Pete part of mine as well, because me and Pete uh, are interlinked in lots of different things. Yeah, great, great. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm a, um, a value add kind of guy myself. It's all about how I can help other people and what I can do, you know, which is why, again, you know, my podcast is all about trying to, um, to showcase what people are doing, you know, what type of people they are so that my audience can then, you know, um, uh, collaborate with them, contact them, get a me to do an introduction or, or whatever. You know, that's what it's all about, really. And um, yeah, a rising tide, a rising tide raises all all ships. And um, a competitive mindset is a weak one. When I say that, uh, it's okay to be in competition with yourself because yeah. um, you drive yourself on and motivate yourself. And, and, and so on. But for me to be in competition with you, you to be in competition with me, for me to be in competition with Pete, for Pete to be in competition with you, no. weak mindset. We, we elevate support and add value to one another. And uh, the world's a small place, but a big place at the same time. And there's, 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 um, there's, there's enough there for everybody. Yeah, and there's, uh, there's strength in unity. Yeah, big time. Collaborations that one of the true uh, keys to great success, collaboration. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, so I'm massively competitive, I am, but with me, you know, I've always want to be a better version of me today oh, than I was yesterday. Oh, and so you should, that's good. That's the right mindset. Yeah, but, the, but, but what other people are doing, the more I can help them, the better, the more oh. I can help myself by helping them is my, my, my mindset. Absolutely, but, absolutely. When you have a servant mentality, your glass is always half full and you always have something to give. You always are. You always have motivation. You always um, are grateful. You feel grateful more often than you don't. You 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 serve. If you serve without expectation or assumption, you know I'm given this to receive that. No, yeah. I'm given this here <clears throat> because I can, yeah. because I want to, and because I know it's going to help that person. Um, of, of, with obvious boundaries that that aren't going to be isn't going to be detrimental to yourself, but. Um, 
I, I think I think with that sort of attitude and that mindset, it's took me a long way. Yeah. Mm. Well, I actually um, I created a formula during lockdown, which is the happiness formula. It's called the Smart Good Happiness man. Formula. Yeah. Good man. And yeah. uh, the, the Smart I, I give it away for free. I've actually created a success formula as well, which I'm going to charge for. But I give away the the happiness formula for free because I want everyone to be as happy as they can be. You know. So why would I want to monetize that and and prevent people from having it? It's yeah. a daily ritual of things to do to be happy. And uh, it stands for, it's the SMART, and it stands for sleep, meditation, ability to perform, which covers exercise, nutrition, and hydration, and then random acts of kindness and targets. Yeah. Yes, and targets uh, as in goals. As in goals. Yeah. Goal setting, goal, goal achievement, but it needed to be SMART. So yeah. I had uh, I had SM, I had SM, yes, uh, I R it. and G, and then, and then exercise and hydration, right? But I was smart with my use of ability to perform, which covers three forms of things you should do on a daily basis, you know, to make yourself fit and healthy and whatever. Yes. Uh, and, then, and then the goal setting, I was able to change the targets and I got smart. It took a bit of time, but you know, my brain, yes. Yes. I'm, 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 yes. a, I'm a creative thinker. So I, 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 I got there eventually. I, I, I like it. I created my own self-confidence formula as well. Yeah. Um, and when I say created it, I, 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 it's, it's almost the, it's golden nuggets from everything that I've learned, pulled together, and it's like a, it's like a, it's like a concoction of ingredients from different books I've read, from different people I've talked to, from different things I've tried, and I've pulled it all together, and I have it, it is there. It is a formula that I have. Uh, uh, tried and tested over two years and it is why my confidence is bulletproof it's why my my belief is unshakable it's why I feel that I am unstoppable on my journey this relentless journey I am on I say all that humbly with humble confidence because a lot of people shy away from being confident because oh no I'm arrogant uh -uh. you know confidence is a beautiful thing yeah. Confidence is something. Confidence is something that we should all strive to have, um, and 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 have it in abundance. And I'm. I got, I'm a, I got a good word for you, which I I use, which is um, again Brian Tracy uses as well, which actually saves that that problem of people thinking confidence is tied with arrogance and that, and that's self esteem or self belief. Yeah. 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 And, and, and I, I have it too, you know what I mean? I got no doubt that I'm going to get to where I want to get to in life. You know, yeah. I'm already on the journey to it. I'm already doing it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, uh, you know I mean? we all have big goals and ambitions and we, and we all should have because that's what drives Absolutely. us on. Absolutely. You know? but, uh, Absolutely. But confidence is what you need to do it. Otherwise, you stay in your comfort zone and you don't take any risks and you don't you know, move outside you, of it. You, you, must believe, you must believe in yourself or, or others will never. Um, you must, you must see, you must be able to see, feel, touch, um, and be where it is you're going. Um, otherwise, like if you can't, if you can't, how 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 can you achieve it? You know, I, for for me, for me, we'll go on to talk about some of the stuff that I'm at, but I'm already there, Mike. Yeah. I'm already there. Where 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 I, I I'm I'm there, but I'm not there. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm yeah, not yeah, there, yeah, but I'm, yeah. no, sorry, I'm not there, but I'm there. Yeah, you know? oh, yeah I'm there as well. I'm 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 100 there, but yeah. I'm just taking the plan of action and the activities which will eventually take me my physical body there as well yeah. as my mental body. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my mind yeah, yeah. is already there. Yeah, of course, of course, and that's where it should be. That's right, and and, and that's where mine is as well. Um, um we 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 are the we are the best at what we do um and i truly believe it and a lot of people know it and um the world will soon know it and the, they are they all they are already seeing it um we have some exciting plans coming up um we have got a statement of intention and i i i know what we are going to do and now it's about doing it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, um, for, for me, um, you know, success is about, well, you know, success as whatever wants somebody wants it to be is whatever, it's very personal to them, whatever success is. Yeah. But, you know, to be seen as successful by others 
you have mm. to have done great things you know in their benchmark or measurement of things yeah. and in order to be successful you have to create momentum and you have to create momentum and velocity in a direction that you want to go in and yeah. it creates a lot of momentum to, to get lift off but um mm. you know i've been creating momentum my entire life i've been mm. working in the direction that i'm heading in for my entire life I've crystallized mm -hmm. some of it during lockdown, et cetera. And, yeah. you know, the, the, some of the actions and the activities can change sometimes, but they're all, you know, they're all aimed at getting lift off, you know, yes. in whatever, you know, in whatever direction you're, you're aiming to go in. And, you know, luckily I've found what I wanted to do early on in life. I've been doing what I do for 11, for, since I was 11, so 32 years, yeah. you know, and, and, what, do you, what, what, do you, what do you do in the daily then for 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 what's your purpose in terms of what what is it you do in a daily basis mike if you don't mind me asking yeah so um i like helping people so on a daily basis i educate and inspire and motivate entrepreneurs to become better versions of themselves yeah um and do you that's coach? Do you coach so i do i do coaching mentoring um i do uh, sales and market but well, basically i used to do sales and marketing consultancy training and services hmm. But now I've pivoted to do more entrepreneur, entrepreneurial coaching and mentoring. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm in the mission because my ultimate end goal mission is to become a global speaker and to train yeah. as many people as I can on the planet in all of yeah. the things I've spent a lifetime learning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So and, and I've spent a long time you know, researching and, and, and applying the knowledge of in order to gain wisdom in sales, marketing, networking, relationship building, personal development, you know, success, efficiency, technology, you know, yeah. lots of areas because I'm a lifelong learner and I'm somebody who likes to know how everything works and not just how 60, 70 percent of it works like most people. Of course. Yeah? So I'm of a detail course. person and I like to get into the detail and I've made my living and my career, if you like, on going places other people aren't and learning things other people aren't learning. With, with listen, that, that goes back to your desire to do what you're doing. You obviously have a strong desire and purpose because when you have when you're when you and and when you have that and you understand why you have it, the most important part is why you have it. Um uh when you understand that you're very you're in touch. You're in touch with your purpose and your 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 desires on a very deep level, and when you're and when you're and when you're on them on a very deep level, you will do things naturally that other people not that they can't do, but because they don't have that, they don't do. They're not inspired to do, or they 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 they, they don't have a reason for doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't do. They they maybe no. know how to do it, but they don't do it. Um, because they don't have the desire to do it, the motivation, they're not in touch with you, they don't know why they want it, why would they do that, you know? And I, I reckon there's a massive part of the population like that, massive, 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 80, 90%, maybe more. Yeah, and, um, well, yeah, well, we, yeah, you know, we talk about the 10 percenters and the 10 percenters and the 1 percent, etc. 90 percent of people generally don't have a desire to better themselves, better their situation, they've given up on what their goals, dreams and ambitions were and, they, yeah. and they're and living towards society's demands and expectations yeah. and they're just trying to preserve themselves, survive, stay comfortable and just, you know, get through life if you like, you know, whereas yeah, I don't yeah. want to get through life, you know what I mean, I want to take out of life everything I can and, 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 and yeah. leave myself empty and, and you know, yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else left in the tank. I want to have lived life, not not have survived it. Yeah, of course. Big time. I agree totally. Yeah. So uh, and, that, and that's just a mindset, you know. So it's a it's a winning mindset. It's an achieving mindset. You know, I started off luckily as a young kid, very competitive. Um, you know, with myself, very looking to improve. You know, probably I was competitive back then as well with others as well because I was in the sports. I, I was a very good sports person, so I was very competitive in sports, if you like. But when I got into management at like eighteen, I learned to share and help others and, and get more reward from doing that. You know, yeah. but as a as, as a kid, I was just competing. I just wanted to be the best and a winning mentality, and I, I suppose that's what gave me the improvement mentality. Always wanted to improve, and I think with <laughs> with with more. Um, knowledge of constantly working and improving on lots of areas of your life you you first of all the more knowledge you get the more you realize the less you know and therefore yeah. the more you actually willing to consume more and more 
Yeah. You know? So I think it takes uh, it takes a little bit of learning to actually realise you don't know nothing. Yeah. Of I course. think most people who don't do much learning think they know everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maturity, maturity, and life experience teaches you that as well. You know, I'm a I'm a big believer in timing. Um, I believe I believe timing is a wonderful thing. Um, and when I say by timing, what I mean by timing is uh, <clears throat> is uh, timing for me <clears throat> or stroke luck is when hard work and opportunity meet. Um, it's like it's like when you're prepared. <clears throat> and you've done everything you can, you're working hard, you've done all the personal development, you're networking in the right circles, you're doing all these things, and then when something presents itself, are you ready for it? Are you ready to press the button and act? Or even if you're not ready, are you willing to do that? Um, and, and, and that for me is, is a beautiful thing. That's, that's timing. Timing's, a, timing's like a flow state for me, you know? It's like, it's, it's like when, that, when that something is there, are, are, are you... Are you are you are you ready? Are you ready? Are you have you stayed ready? Have you got ready so that you don't have to get ready? Yeah, I, you know um, what I mean. Are you ready? Can you yeah. go? I I I I I call that the perfect storm. I do, or the magic formula, yeah. the potion, like you know that the the, the razzmatazz when we when everything in in everything yeah. in order for that chemical equation to come off is all fed in at exactly the right time and the right amount for yeah. that. Happen, yeah. like, you know? yeah. Yeah. That's how that's how I love my life, Mike. That's how that's how my life's been. I'm living in a perfect storm. And yeah. I've been and have been for some time, by the way. Yeah. I have been I have been for about two years, roughly. About two about two years I've been living in a perfect storm. Every day is the right time for me. Every moment's the right time for me. This is the right time for me. When I get off this call, that'll be the right time for me. When I you know what I mean? I've got a Zoom at three o'clock for a, a, a very important Zoom. That's the right time for me. I have another one at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. That's the right time for me. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm in that. That's where you're I'm in, at. Uh, you're in full, full flow status. I've been in full flow status for in and out of times, in and out of times. Um, yeah. You know, and when you're in that full flow status, have you seen the film uh, Limitless or the series where you take the magic pill and it puts you... Um, you haven't seen that, have you? Watch no. that, it's really good, right? But what it basically does is, it's a magic pill that makes you, like, get the most out of your human ability. Mm. Yeah? yeah, yeah, it's like everything, you, you're like um, playing, um, playing the game of life from above rather than from within it. Yes, yeah, yes, so you're, yes, like yes. A, you're like a strategist, you're making all the right decisions and all the right moves because you've got all the right yeah. information and all well, the right... If you're into the laws of the universe, do you ever read any of that? Are you into any of that law of attraction? All yeah, that sort of I, 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 read, I read all of that. You know, a lot of the personal development people I listen to are always referring to. I, I, I listen yeah. to a lot of Dr. John D. Martini. Yeah, yeah. That's like a, it's a, it's like a, the, the law of vibration. You know, you're, you're, you, you, if you vibrate at a certain level, you will then attract certain things. And my vibration has been at a, at a high level. I don't mean higher than better than other people's I just mean at my high level at the level I need to up to yeah 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 for for to be attracting the opportunities people abundance um the, the, the opportunities to add value um all those things in my life that's 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 been that that that's where I am and that's where that's where I am to stay and have been for some time thank god yeah 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 well I think um I've been in and out of that state a lot over the last three years yeah. yeah, I think yeah. in my career, I was in a similar flow state, but it wasn't value driven flow. It was, um, it was, um, it was like action driven, like, you know, like when you're purring like an engine because you're doing, it's process flow driven, you know, yeah. like you, you just know what you're doing, like the back yeah. of your hands in and out and yeah, 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 you've got yeah. a process that you're following. It may not be, it was close to my value flow, but it was mm -hmm. more a process flow and, yeah. and it would have been the full flow had I been doing the, the my life ambition doing yeah. it but i was just doing yeah. something else but in that process flow yeah. but now I'm, yeah. I'm on my life ambition but everything's not quite purring like the engine yeah it's, it's i'm yeah. working up to it and once yeah, i get yeah. into that purring like an engine in my life flow then i think i'll be in it forever and yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. The key. so as somebody who understands flow i understand exactly where you're in i've been in that situation yeah. and it's yeah, process the process you mentioned, the process flow, those very, very important too, because structure and process are are two other ingredients to great, are, are two other ingredients that are uh, essential to great success. Yeah. 
um, yeah. um, whether that be in life, financially, business-wise, entrepreneurial, uh, connection-wise, whatever, structure and process, structure to your day, structure to your uh, routine, rituals, not so much rituals, but more practices, um, processes and structure in order to you, excuse yeah. me. It's funny, uh, it's funny, while you're sneezing, it's funny, it's funny that you say that, yeah, because um, when I created my happiness formula, yeah, a big part of happiness for me is success. So the, yeah. the, the, the problem solving and the, and the creative thinking didn't stop at smart. It just got going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so I actually created a seven step success formula as well because I couldn't yeah. stop my brain thinking. And so I ended up, uh, I, I wanted to make a happiness formula and I ended up making a success formula, yeah. which stands for streams. Yeah. Which is systems, technology, relationships, efficiency, action, marketing and sales. And then yeah. what I consider to be the seven pillars of success. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, and so smart streams then led into what I consider to be an elite business performance formula. Because if you look after yourself as part of your daily happiness routine, then you yeah. get long term success rather than just short term success. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so yeah that's yeah, what sure. I call elite business performance. And, and this is what I, this is what I created during lockdown, what I want to educate people on and train people on and speak on. For the rest of my life, this is my life's work. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love yeah. it. It's uh, it's it's interesting. You talk about success and all the rest of it. On from the I'm I am positioning myself right now. I've achieved some crazy stuff this last two years that's been well documented online. <clears throat> um, and um, what I've never done is pass that knowledge on on a one to one basis. Um, and I've always been facilitating mastermind groups and joining them and uh, hosting events and co-hosting co and collaborating. But <clears throat> something I realized that I hadn't been doing and that I want to do for my own personal satisfaction is uh, and fulfillment is to, to I'm going to be launching a success and self-confidence. Well, su success and confidence one-to-one -one coaching on the 1st of November. And um, I but and and that will be up close and personal. This isn't a sales pitch, by the way, because there's only ten spots, and I've already been inundated with people looking to do it. So it's not that at all. But what I mean is, it's uh, I will be passing on people. People when they see success, right, Mike? And I've been guilty of this too. And maybe you'll be able to relate to this, or maybe you won't. I don't know. But when you when you when you're somebody that's aspiring for the the dreams and the stars, right? Um, you see other people, and you're, you you sometimes think, what's the X factor? You know, what 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 is it? You know, what is it? And what I realized after achieving my own is, uh, guess what? There isn't. There ain't no X factor. There's no magic wand. There's no. It's not a secret sauce. It's not a magic potion. It's more of what 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 did you do? How did it work? How can we replicate this? It's um, a formula. That's that's yeah. why I created a success formula. It's yes. a formula. And how and how can you rec how can other people do it too? Yeah. So I am going to share my up close and personal what makes me tick. And there's only one of me. The same yeah. way there's only one of you. Yeah. So yeah. my success and confidence coaching is unique. There's no other person on the planet. It, that's part of the formula as well. Is understanding that understanding yes. that you are the yes. best you that you'll ever be. There's no point trying to be anyone else. 100% and I'm going to share that with 10 people and that's really, really exciting, really exciting. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I think uh, that, that would be really, really great uh, information, knowledge, advice. I think yeah. there is a formula. This is why, you know, I created a success formula. I've listened and studied a lot of top entrepreneurs. I've met a lot of people from all around the world. And, you know, um, my level of success is entrepreneurial success because I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. yeah. Um, for, for, you know, but, but whether your level of success isn't, entrepreneurialism but in whatever success looks like to you there is a formula that you can fill and it is yeah. you know like uh, dr john d martini will teach for example it's making sure that your value system is in in, in aligned with what you're doing you know so yeah. it's making sure that you, you you believe in what you're doing and therefore can overcome all the obstacles that come in your way the obstacles aren't there anymore if you really do believe in what you're doing because you'll battle out of the way you'll your, your, your motivation and your drive and your ambition and your psychology is enough to overcome those obstacles if you believe yeah. in what you're doing whereas those obstacles will get in your way and block you if you don't believe in what you're doing and it's a, it's about all those sort of things and so there is a formula there is a system it starts yeah. with confidence and self-belief 
and then it goes into values and, and, and direction. And then there's another, there's a number of skills along the way that you need to pick up as well, but it is all exactly re replicatable. Of course, of course, of course. No, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's an exciting time for me, my family, everybody associated, everybody involved with Think Network, um, everybody involved with my TEDx activities, TEDx Dairy London Dairy activities. Um, and um, I've got bigger, uh, not bigger, but other international stuff that I'm involved in. We've got an event in Vegas. We've got stuff in Italy. We've got something in Sydney Opera House planned. We've got different things, collaborating and talking with some key players globally. Um, and so it's, it's an exciting time. You know, anything I can do to help you with any of that, I'm well connected to um, to a network in Wales, which have got franchises in Wales and soon the southwest of England and also in Sweden. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to the Outstanding Network, which is all Irish people, mostly Northern and Republic of Ireland, of which obviously you know a lot of them. Anyway, yeah. we, we briefly mentioned that before we went on here. Um, yeah. I'm also connected to a group that's um, going global, but I've got a lot in the southwest and they're going global. I'm connected to a guy who's got 140 WhatsApp groups and, and, and does a lot of virtual networking with different niches around the world there. Uh, mm -hmm. I've also just um, um, collaborated with some guys in South Africa who are doing global events as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I've got quite a good um, uh, network of, of people in similar sort of spaces to yourself, you know, yeah, speaking yeah. spaces, events, spaces, all of that sort of thing. So, yeah. you know, any of that knitting together of those networks and collaborations and, you know, affiliates and any of that sort of stuff is what I'm big into at the moment because, you know, I'm going to become a global speaker and I'm going to become one of the most known global speakers on the planet. And, uh, you know, by helping those collaborators, those event people, those speaking places, you know, get value out of my network is how I'm going to do it. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, sounds exciting. Um... <clears throat> Um, we'll we'll definitely talk going forward and see what uh, what collaborative opportunities there are. You just never know, do you? When you until you explore it. <clears throat> no, and I, I I may be interested in jump, jumping onto your mastermind. Um, I'm actually about to set up my own mastermind, which is going to be for global communicators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's anyone involved in speaking, social media, uh, podcasting, blogging, that sort of thing. I want I want I want a global community of of uh, of communicators who can yeah. help communicate each other to grow each other onto a global basis. Yeah. Well, our, our, we have a mastermind group. <clears throat> it's an elite level mastermind group. Pete's on it. Yeah. Pete's on it. Um, we have got one of Ireland's um, most successful female entrepreneurs on it, on the whole island. Yeah. We have got a globally recognized personal development coach, mindset and personal development coach on it. We have got... Uh, there's Northern Ireland's the CEO of Northern Ireland's uh, largest childcare providers in it. We have a managing director of a mental wealth international uh, group in it. We've got marketing and brand. We've got a branding expert in it who's worked with Red Bull and Disney. We have got a marketing expert in it who looks after all my Think Network uh, stuff. We've got, oh, it's uh, really, we've got... It's like it's a top a, entrepreneur uh, mastermind. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we meet for about, I'm going to say about four and a half hours per month, like over three Zooms. It could be like a, like a think tank Zoom where we're bringing one opportunity and one challenge to the table where, so it could be, you could be bringing a, an opportunity for the rest of the group to the table with adding value, or it could be an opportunity, you could be celebrating a win and motiv motivating people around the table. And you could also be bringing a challenge where the table can help you. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got a Think and Grow Rich book club on it. Yeah. Um, we have got uh, oh, different things on it. We've got private events on it where we have people. It's not Noble in. Goldman, is it? it? Sounds a bit like Noble Goldman. It's, it's, it's a real, I don't know what that is, but it's a, it's a real cool thing. And well, uh, I, belong to a, I belong to a mastermind group which is called Noble Goldman, which does similar sort of thing. It's a think and grow rich group. It's a rich dad, poor dad group. Yeah. Uh, it sounds sounds like the same thing or, or, or uh, just an, a different alternatively branded thing at the same thing. Yeah. You know? we, we, have a, we have a private LinkedIn group where we share information in between Zooms. Like, for example, if you heard me saying something that you, we didn't get talking about on the Zoom, you were able to drop into the group with the information. Um, we have a quarterly get-together where we have a, a mastermind, a brainstorm and mastermind quarterly get together, um, physical, physical one, if possible. 
Um, so no, different. It's just really, really good. That's the elite one. There's only 12 people in that where there's actually 10, maybe two spaces on it, but there's some, it's, it's capped at 12. Yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, send me some information about all of yeah, that on LinkedIn I and uh, I will and, like tag me in on anything that you're doing on social media, and I'll share it to my community because that's what I do. I've got a yeah. Welsh business blog, I've got a UK business blog, and I've got a global business blog. Yeah. Um, uh, and I've got LinkedIn pages for them as well, and I've got sections on my website and and all that yeah. sort of thing. So I lo I love sharing business news and events. Yeah. And, Info. I'll send you. I'll send you the information to it. Um, <clears throat> to a couple of projects that I have got going, and um, if you feel any are for you are for you personally, great. Um, if you feel any of them are for your network, great, and vice versa. If you have anything, um, we have we have a growing network ourselves, and uh, and an increasing following. So it's good. It's, really, it's good. Yeah. Well, how often? What, what's your big event? What's your main? You know, for the Think Big Network or the Think Network? What's What's the, do you do a big once a week event um, well, or once a month? At, at the minute, at the we have we run different things all through the year. Whether at the at the moment mainly webinars, obviously. Um, like for example, in the month of September, we have two free value, uh, free registration webinars on autism. Think autism. Uh, we have another one, the big autism discussion. Yeah. Next month is World ADHD Month. We are having a webinar on uh, ADHD, and uh, so are you involved in the mental health sector then? Not, not, not really. No, not, um, not really. Um, it's more, it's more uh, going into the issues that are relevant and prevalent uh, right now. Um, we're not. I wouldn't say we're into the mental health sector. Some of the things that we have maybe cross over into it, but we're not. We're not uh, experts in mental health or giving mental health advice or anything like that. It's, no, it's the, the only reason I ask is um, yeah. is I actually quite like helping people in the mental health sector yeah. myself because yeah, yeah. I'm into positivity and motivation and stuff. And I yeah. think a lot of mental health is with people who are looking backwards or or it's locked in their own head and are actually yeah. looking forward and actually yeah. they start you know goal setting and um, you know. Know, educating themselves and looking forward towards achieving something they can yeah. get out of their own head or get out of the past and and actually uh, deal with their mental health issues yeah. much better but that's something i'm doing personally but a friend yeah. of mine runs uh, the mental health and well-being show in yeah. uh, in wales so i just it's thought cool. you know if you're connected to some people in that me mental health sector yeah. this is a yeah. big platform they do online events as well as real world events but it's a yeah. great platform for anyone in that mental health yeah, yeah, yeah. world to, to, to have a showcase yeah what we are what we are mike just to give you a summary of think network think network is the uk and ireland's uh fastest growing um uh, independent empowerment platform and when I empowerment platforms, quite a big umbrella and broad umbrella, uh, and within that there are physical events, uh, inspirational, motivational speaking events that have different themes: resilience, self belief, inspiration, empowerment, um, what hope, courage, uh, whatever it is, <clears throat> whatever, 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 whatever the theme we come up with is. Um, we have got a, a. We also have got the webinars, which have been coming increasingly popular since COVID. Um, um and the webinars are usually about two a month they're free and uh they're free live but then they go on to our membership website so they're archived on a membership website for anybody to become a member of think network and look back over all the material and also get uh, uh up close and personal with the groups that we have we we have got online groups we've got an accountability group where we have 50 odd members that are in um, at, the, at the start of the week, they post their goals, midweek they post how they're getting on and at the end of the week we celebrate wins or address challenges. We have got a think tank where it is like a mini mastermind. Then we've got the elite mastermind. Um, we have got, I do, I've done, I do resilience workshops online and offline. We have got a membership site. Um, so we have got the YouTube channel. We are on every social media channel. So yeah. there, I'm launching my one-to-one -one coaching. So we are everything empowerment. Have you got uh, an affiliate scheme for all of this? Because I'd love to become a partner uh, of yours in, in Wales and UK and globally and, and push out uh, what you're doing to, to the people I meet. Well, here's one for you. This is something that I'm working on and this is an exclusive. 
I haven't told anybody publicly this year. I may have mentioned it in a closed group Zoom meeting before, but it hasn't been out to the public. Think Network, right, my, my C-type goal, my, my goal um, is for uh, Think Network to be the number one empowerment platform in the world, bar none, right? Yeah. We already are. Everybody just doesn't know it yet, right? Yeah. How, are they how are they going to know it? Because we are going to take Think Network into every town, in every city, in yeah. every country. Yeah. How are we going to do that? I already know how we're going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead. Collaboration. We are going to license yeah. Think Network, yeah. right? And I am going to give everybody the process that I have followed to grow your social media, to, 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 to do your, your accountability group, your mastermind group, your think tank, your webinars, your online events, your physical events, uh, your resilience workshops. I am going to provide you with a license. I'm going to provide you with a process. I'm going to provide you with one uh, monthly guidance for the first year of your license journey. And we are going to, it's almost franchising. Yeah. But it's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the way yeah. I would do it. By the way, it's the same. Yeah. I would, um, uh, yeah, because the franchise is a barrier to entry. Yes, and that's how we're going to take Think Network globally, and that yeah. is a work in progress, my friend. But that is common. Well, I'm working with some people in South Africa who are looking to do the same things as well, and they're massive collaborators like you. So there may be a chance of some people who are looking to do this globally join forces together and having yeah. a global proposition on on, on this, like you know. So yeah. that's something Let's which, uh, which might connect. be of interest, yeah. Let's connect. Yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds, uh, that sounds good, but I'm definitely interested in that. How do people, yeah. if they want to get involved in the Think Network and, and everything that you're doing, how do they get involved? Is there a newsletter they sign up yeah. to or yeah. social media? You, yeah, join, join our, if you, if you click on our website, www.thinknetwork.co, you can connect with me there. You can inquire about any of the workshops and you can, you can register for the new, a newsletter, which will be coming out on the 2nd of October or in October. That's when it starts. Um, we have got various things. You can get involved with me in a physical sense and any of our events. We have got our next event is the 2nd of October in Belfast. It is called Think Inspired. Um, after that, our next physical event is Ted. Well, it's ho is, is hosted by me, TEDx Derry, London Derry, which is on the 29th of January. Then we have got an Italian retreat. This is another exclusive four day mindset and well being retreat that nobody knows about yet. They do now. It is in uh, well, Lake Como. First, first for the exclusives on the, yes. on, on, the, on the podcast and the YouTube yes. channel. Yes, it is Lake Como in Italy, 20, uh, 24th to 27th of May. Beautiful all part of the world. Beautiful all part of the world. All inclusive, everything included. You just need to turn up. Um, then we are in Vegas on the 18th of September, 2021. We have part, this isn't an exclusive, but everybody knows it or they should know it. We have partnered with the biggest book, public, one of the biggest book publishers in the world, Beyond Words. They're in, they're in America. They're the people that found Rhonda Byrne and the book, The Secret. Yeah. They're, the, they're the publisher of Rhonda Byrne's book, The Secret, The Magic exactly. and all the rest of it. Amazing. Right? Yeah. We are their part, US partners. We have an event in the, the, uh, the strip, Las Vegas, the industrial space, Vegas, the Nevada, US, 18th of September, 2021, inspired action, creating personal empowerment. And it is a dumb deal. It's, it's on there. Check out all the social media channels. Um, I am going to Sydney Opera House the following year. We are collaborating with a couple of major players there at the minute. And that's just the start of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just the starters. Yeah, sounds like you're on a you know on the great great journey. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting on board and, and, and getting interacted uh, with with some of the stuff you're doing because sounds we'll fun. Get one. We'll get you speaking at one of them. How's that for a commitment? Yeah, well, you know that's uh, that's the mission I'm on. So by helping you on your mission, you can help me on mine. That's how collaborations work. Yeah. Well, listen, consider it done. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. And I'm a man of my, I'm a man of my word. Oh, no, I know, I'll that. I know that. I know that. I I I'll come back to you. Um, whether a date suit and all the rest of it, but consider it done. Uh, we will do it together, and uh, let's keep the steam train going, my friend. Yeah, definitely, and uh, yeah, I, I'm happy to be um, some wind underneath your wings, and uh, I'm happy for you to be some wind underneath my wings because we all need to fly together. 
Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. And after I get off this with you, I'm going to send you the information for the mastermind group and the think tank. And um, if you feel, I think the mastermind's the perfect fit for you. The the mas the mastermind's the group for you. That's just whether you want to be bothered or you want to commit to it or whatever. But yeah, it's, it's, it's all down to, to time, isn't it? You know, uh, but it does sound like something I would definitely like to be part of. So uh, it's but, again, it's down to commitment, time, days, all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Because because like you, I'm on the same mission at the moment, a uh, full steam ahead mission. And yeah. so it's about mm -hmm. what fits in with that mission rather than how yeah. I can fit in with other things yeah. isn't it like you know it's all about yeah, but but i try my best to, and, and once like i'm either all in or all out well uh, that's one of my yeah. favorite phrases all in yeah so i'm either all in or all out so i i can i will only do something i can do if i'm all in if i can yeah, commit yeah, yeah, all yeah. in like you know yeah, what because i what i'll do is i send you the information and i i i, I bring out a three-month schedule itinerary so yeah. every quarter we get an itinerary yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll send you the itinerary, which I don't normally send out until somebody signs up to it, but I'll send you yeah. out the itinerary and the itinerary will give you the dates and the times and yeah. you're able to say, well, yes, I, can, I want to do that or no, I don't. Would you want to go to Necker Island and meet Richard Branson and a load of his contacts? Why not? Maybe, 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 maybe he'll want to meet me. Yeah, well, probably, you know, uh, after he meets you, he'll definitely want to know you and, and yeah. get to know you. Yeah. Maybe, he'll, maybe he'll want me to go to yeah, Necker Island. Yeah, yeah, but the, the yeah. reason I ask is because I represent a, a, a company in, in Wales. They're Wales' biggest business network. They do Wales' biggest business expo. They're doing a Richard Branson event in November. It's either October or November. I think it's November. Mm -hmm. um, and they're doing one next year on his boat. And it's, a, it's quite an exclusive event, but it's for people who are global, who want to meet global connections, like-minded people. Yeah, yeah. you're going um i i haven't got the budget to go but if i could get the budget to go i would go i think the richard branson event is about 23 grand mm. yeah um yeah. there's one which is seven grand which I, is the one i'm aiming to go on which is his richard uh, branson's birthday party it was supposed to be july this year but it's mm. been pushed postponed to next year because it was on a cruise liner it was supposed to coincide with the launch of his new cruise liner how many people go on this? Um, I, well, the, the actual 23 grand event is a, it's a, a, a pro-am golf and tennis tournament. It's called the Necker Island Cup. Yeah. yeah. And it's very exclusive. That wouldn't, yeah, that wouldn't interest me because I'm not into golf or tennis. I would have been when I was younger, but it wouldn't be my thing. No, but it's a, it's a great networking opportunity, really. And there's a load of like ex-pro tennis players and golfers. So you get to have a, a knockabout with them and that sort of thing. But it's it's really, you, you get to spend time on Necker Island, get to meet Richard. It's a, it's a networking event for, for like-minded entrepreneurs. Yeah? yeah, And and that one, I think, has a few hundred people on. The, the boat... I, I'm guessing there's thousands of people on the boat. It's a cruise line. It's huge. But um, the my contacts have only got, I think they got like um, somewhere like 20 tickets or something. Both events anyway are close to being sold out. I think there's only, I think there's two spaces left in the um, the Necker Island one, either two or three. And I think with the um, with the uh, boat, the birthday party boat and that, um, they're also doing a mastermind. So, so these guys are doing a mastermind, and so some people like um, Les Brown are on it, and Brian Ch mm -hmm. a lot of their contacts. They're doing a global event, um, a global summit in November with like Jarek Robbins, um, Tom Ziegler, Les Brown, and and they're doing a mastermind then with those people and the people who pay into the mastermind. And they actually, if you if you do the mastermind, which is twenty grand, um, you actually get the seven grand trip to the party boat chucked in yeah, yeah. i've um, been chatting i've been chatting to jarek robbins recently on dm on instagram yeah he's awesome jarek i've been on a couple of his uh, events as well um mm -hmm. uh he does a, an event on a friday afternoon where he um coaches people on um pivoting during the, the coronavirus i've been mm -hmm. on that a few times he's awesome i, I love jarek robbins yeah and, yeah um, i wanted i wanted to see if i could get him to speak at our vegas event but he hasn't come back to me on it but um regardless well, you know the, the, the guy the best speaker that i've come across was well, i'd say probably the th the three best speakers that i've come across because i would say they're all awesome is les brown brian tracy and dr john Martini. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. they're my they're my best three like you know out of all the people i listen to and yeah. and um 
and my friends Paul and Tracy are um, in contact. They're all speaking at the expo at the global summit in November. Yeah, mm -hmm. and basically, um, my friends Paul and Tracy uh, from Interbiz, uh, their mentor used to be Sharon Lecter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, and and so yeah. they're they're very well connected with 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 Good everyone, point. and they're currently in talks with to add to the global event. This is I'm not sure if I can say this actually or not. I'll tell you off air because I don't know whether they've gone public with this at the moment. But there's two two names that I can mention that they're trying to get on their online event as well. Which you know if they get them, you know one one of them is not that dissimilar to Jarek Robbins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tony Robbins, <laughs> and uh, and one of them is uh, you know one of the big names at the moment in the US to do with um, marketing funnels funnels. Yeah, I'm not sure, not sure. But here I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I have a, I have a, I have a friend that's in Tony Robbins Platinum Lions group. Yeah. Um, and uh, he he gets he gets up close and personal on his island once a year. Yeah. And. Um, it's powerful stuff, man. You know, it's it's definitely an arena that I'll that I will naturally move into when the timing is correct, yeah. Um, when the opportunity presents itself, and when I am definitely ready because I'm always ready. Yeah. Um, so when the opportunity presents itself, um, I'll take it. Um, well, you know, this is this is my mission, Lucy. Right? It's all the people I learn off, or all the best people on the planet, which is who I learn off. Right? Mm. They're all American. And as a, as a proud Welshman and a proud Brit, right, and a proud European, right, because I'm a collaborator and I'm all about Britain, I'm about, you know, Britain and Ireland. I'm li I like um, the Olympics when, when lots of gold medals are won by British mm. athletes and Irish athletes as well, for, for, you know, because to me, it's all part, we're all part of the same people, really. And, and then I'm proud to, to do stuff European-wide, you know, like when the Northern Hemis Hemisphere teams win against the Southern Hemisphere teams. But I'm also proud when globally, when, when we as a human race join forces together and we can fight the pandemic or we can fight, you know, uh, global warming or any of the other massive battles that we got on and we need to join forces together in, like, yeah? Yeah. And yeah, uh, so, so I'm all about teamwork collaboration. But as a as a proud Welshman, Brit, you know, Northern Hemisphere guy, and wherever, I'm not happy that all the top speakers on the planet are American. I don't think that's right. Yeah. No, so I'm going to own. Uh, that's my mission is to is to put a bit of Welsh dragon on on the, the the same stages and the same platforms. And I think a bit of a bit of Irish Celtic, uh, you know, flair needs to be there too. Listen, they're not the number one speakers. They, we we are I, I I I am doing my own TED talk on the twenty seventh of November here in, in in Northern Ireland, right? Yeah. Um, I belong I I belong at that level. Yeah. As do you. I know. You know, uh, they may not know it, but that's no, okay. No, no, well, I, I know it. You know. I, they, I don't care. I I don't care if they know it. You know, they don't have to know it. No. Um, but but I I know it. Yeah. You know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 now it's just about doing it. Yeah, yeah. So well, once bad. you know, you know, isn't it? Once you know, you know. And ultimately, you know, I only want to get to that level. I don't want to get to a level because I want to be at that level. I want to help as many people as I can on the planet. And I know in order to do that, I've got to be at a certain level. You've got to, well, you've got to, you know. That's back to, that's back to your why. Yeah. And your, and your purpose. I know what my why is. I know what my purpose is. And, 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 and be, go, be in, the, in them circles and them groups and them levels, it ain't an egotistical thing. Oh. Them names, the, I admire people's achievements, but in terms of names and I, 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 um, I am inspired by a person, not a name. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, like, yeah. And, yeah. and and like all those names you mentioned and all these Robinses and all the rest of it, they like their names and all the rest of it don't mean jack shit to me. No. You know, it's more it's I'm I'm impressed by people, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed I'm by also, people. I'm uh, also what, what I what I what I'm impressed by, what I really like, which is important, I think. I like the people who are, who are leaving legacy. I, I I like legacy. I like about making a difference. But, you know, now we're talking my now, now we're uh, talking my language. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's legacy, why I love, I love Jim Rohn. Jim yes. Rohn has left a legacy. You know, Tony yes. Robbins was Jim yes. Rohn's student. Like you know what I mean? Yes, yes, but, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, to me, it's about you know how you can make an impact and and and, and, and 
you know, make a difference to people for a long time after you've gone, but you know. Yeah. And you know how you do that? You do that by making them feel good. You also do that. One of my thing, one of my, one of my pursuits is they live a life of never been done before. When I say never been done before, it may, you know, I don't, I, I don't mean going to the moon, you know, or, or I mean, like it's maybe I don't know anybody that's done it. Nobody in my family's done it. Nobody showed me how to do it. Nobody's paved the way for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ted, 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 Ted London Derry has never been to my city ever. Twenty six years. I had no path to follow. No. I had nobody. I had nobody to ring and say, "Well, how did you do that? Can you show me?" Yeah. You know that had never, ever, 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 yeah. ever, ever had been done. Truly historic, groundbreaking, legacy stuff. This yeah. event, the 29th of January 2021, is a first forever. It goes on a YouTube channel with 25 million subscribers forever. A thousand years after I'm gone, it'll be there. Who brought it? Your man. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. and, and awesome. that's never been done before. A man from Ireland has never went to Vegas before and collaborated with the biggest book publisher in the world. They hold their own event. Ever, ever, oh, ever, nice. ever. Research it. Who's done it? Nobody. Oh, it's like uh, it's like the uh, personal development uh, equivalent of uh, Conor McGregor fighting uh, fighting. Uh, um, what's his face? Uh, money, money man. Floyd. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah. No, it's, it's like a personal development version of that. You know what 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 Conor McGregor did was never been done before. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a he's a motivating dude, him too. He's a motivating guy, you know. Um, yeah. but I definitely, man, it's it's that that's that's the sort of life that I'm trying that I not trying to lead. I am I, I am leading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am out. I am, I am out. I am out for forever change. Yeah. I am out yeah. for forever success, forever money, and yeah. rightfully so. Rightfully yeah. so. Yeah. And people shy away from that. That's a that's yeah. a topic people shy away from, Mike. They don't yeah. they don't want they don't want to talk about the money. They're yeah. shy, and and you know. You see, when you don't want to talk about it, you'll yeah, never have it. No, no, no. You need the money. You need the money in order to make the impact and the legacy. Of course, I want all the money and all the money to serve other people and to create abundance for my family, anybody connected with me, and for people that don't even know me. Yeah. And we're going to change the world. I'm going to put so much money into a fund to help entrepreneurs get going, the ones that have a tough start in life. Philanthropist. That's, that, that's why. That's why I need to get to where I want to get to, so I yeah. can impact so many people because so many people have an unfair advantage in life and and actually i, I got pulling things on this because sometimes that unfair advantage in life in fact often that's what gives you the advantage yeah. it's just you don't know it at the time but having yeah. the unfair advantage is what gives you the advantage and actually yeah, not yeah. having the unfair advantage yeah, yeah is what means you often don't get to where you want to get to because you haven't had to fight for it you have to have yeah. to i'm not to sort of really grasp it and 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 make sure you're not willing to let it go but yeah, um, yeah it's, this has been awesome. I knew it w was going to be. And, uh, you know, uh, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. I've just had someone pop up now in my waiting room because I've got another meeting and a half too. You go do your thing, man. Let's do it. We'll talk again. My life's about journeys. It's about events. It's about achievements. It's about yeah. successes. It's about collaborating and helping serve. And we will have many other podcasts because there's many other stories. Oh yeah, um, definitely, definitely. I'll get you on again. I'll get you on again, and we'll deep dive into something else. Or, or, or let me know when you've got something you want to communicate, and I'll happily get you on. Yeah. Every damn day, I'm communicating. Yeah, and I know, uh, I know. let's stay, let's stay in touch. I'll drop you the stuff that I promised you. Send me some of that information and the Branson stuff. Yeah. I may, know, I, I may know. I may listen. Who knows? I may pop up at that. You just never know. You yeah, never, well, never I, I'd be interested in being an affiliate to what you're doing and you can be an affiliate to, to what I'm doing a bit as well and, and that can help you get that more of that money in that we can use to, to, to create that legacy. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. Listen, let's, do, let's keep doing more of what we're both doing and, uh, and any friend of Pat Slattery's is a and Pete Lontons is a friend of mine. Yeah, same, They're, likewise. Likewise. And our Australian friend, Ellis. Uh, Ellis. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, awesome people. You have similar awesome people going out, going on a, on their mission, doing doing great things and, and making it happen. Yeah, right, buddy. I'll chat, chat to you soon and go, go see who's sitting in the waiting room. Yeah, all the best. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Right, there's so nothing else left to say other than have a great day. I know I will. And thanks very much for listening.